artificial intelligence. What does it actually mean? So, it's this huge buzzword, right? Every time we talk about artificial intelligence, we also talk about machine learning, we also talk about deep learning, about neural networks. Let's deconstruct that. If we say this is artificial intelligence, so AI, then maybe you've seen it before, but people always put machine learning as a subset. And then deep learning as another subset. Artificial intelligence has a bit of a history. So since 1950 approximately, people have been talking about artificial intelligence. And usually it's just the idea of something that a computer can do that is something that humans do. Thinking back a bit, movies about robots and all that stuff, sometimes even taking over the world, were really on vogue. And one of the fathers of science fiction and also um, robotics in, in its essence is Asimov. And he stated three laws. And this is kind of the idea that used to be around for artificial intelligence. The idea that we can set rules and facts that can be hard-coded and then our artificial intelligence can make decisions based on those facts and rules. However, things have changed. So before we try to represent vision with rules, which basically meant that a human would look like cylinders and boxes and you would then define a dog as a different box with different cylinders for, for its extremities. And that didn't work really well in, in computer vision. It really held the field back a lot. But today we're using machine learning to learn representations of dogs and humans so we can keep them apart in computer vision. And the same thing is happening with AI. Machine learning as a subfield in artificial intelligence is the idea that you can show a computer the inputs and the outputs and the computer comes up with these rules which is turning the original paradigm on its head. So not we supply the rules and we supply the facts but we supply the facts and the computer comes up with the rules because of the limitations of the rules that we can do, because there's always some extra case that is not represented in one single rule, we got stuck. And that was the first AI winter, where essentially all investments into artificial intelligence froze up, literally. And only the most persistent people were still researching artificial intelligence. But artificial intelligence is not machine learning. And in my opinion, if you want an AI system, you have to take machine learning, rule-based approaches, and you have to build a bigger system that is made up of smaller system. A single neural network is not AI. A self-driving car, which is our modern understanding of modern AI, is a vision system, so a computer that interprets camera images. And then there's a decision process that learns what to do, how to keep the passengers and all the people around us safe. From all the buzzwords between artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, AI is probably the fuzziest. And that means AI is co-opted by a lot of marketing jargon to mean anything. Some researchers are getting a bit cynic that if you have an if statement, so a decision in your code, which everyone does, like they're very normal, then marketing will slap AI on your code. And it's a bit of a problem. So in my opinion, the word AI is close to meaningless these days because it can be anything. And if we're talking about machine learning, if we're talking about deep learning, those words actually have meaning. 
but artificial intelligence can be anything from a rule-based approach to a super sophisticated deep learning model that is interacting with a rule-based model that is interacting with a big decision process. Um, so really, it's important to ask questions what you're actually buying. In this series, I want to give you a deeper understanding of artificial intelligence and what it means to science. So consider leaving a comment what you want me to talk about. Also, consider subscribing, hitting that bell, all that jazz, so you get notified when I'm uploading a new video. Or just come back tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video.